I'm going to say hello. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. Hello. I'd like to welcome everybody today back to our Techspert series. We're on today with a really special guest here. I have Raj. And uh, Raj, I should have asked you, help me out a little bit on your last name. Sablock? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's Sablock, which okay. is a little easier than, than the spelling. Yeah, there. yeah. I, I, was, I was just afraid. I wanted to make it a little more difficult. Well, Raj is the president of Zoho. You can't forget that. Zoho Corporation. And he has over 20 years experience with enterprise software. You may not realize it, but I used to teach some database analysis classes. So I love this just, um, and I have a passion for it. And I'm trying to help investors that are out there uh, look at all the options they have available. And I welcome you today and I thank you. And maybe you could tell the audience a little bit about yourself as well as the software. Yeah, super. Well, um, thank you, Linda. I'm, I'm happy to be here and, and happy to talk about, uh, about Zoho because I think it's, uh, we offer some applications that, that really can help businesses, but you know, more on that in a few minutes. Uh, as for myself, um, you know, I, I describe myself as a, as a tech guy. Uh, I grew up in San Jose, the heart of Silicon Valley. And so, you know, I saw a lot of these great companies that were started in the area. I went to school, I studied uh, mathematics and uh, computer science. I, I got out of school and I jumped right into the tech industry and you know, never really looked back since. I, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I will say that uh, the last uh, close to 10 years now has been probably the most fun part of my career, which has been with Zoho. I think we're doing some, some really exciting, fun things that can, as I said earlier, really help businesses. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, when you say the last 10 years have been great with Soho, and I would, I don't know what you think, but I think the next five to 10 are going to be so exciting as we see things, I'll call it moving so fast, you know, like if the last 10 was probably a flash and the next 10 with Soho, all the probably cool, uh, you know, new features that will come in with this predictive analysis and everything that will be great well you're you're absolutely right i i you know get the opportunity to talk to audiences a fair amount and you know one of the things that i say when people ask me you know what's the next few years look like i really kind of point to the fact that software is really good today it's pretty it's elegant it's delightful all those kinds of adjectives but what we really need to have happen next is to have it do a lot more work for us. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you hit on some key points, things like predictive, um, you know, we're starting to get in the area of AI and automation and things like that. And I think those are all, uh, all functionalities that, uh, that even small businesses or, uh, single proprietor operations should be able to enjoy and will be able to enjoy. Yeah, I, you know what, I think that's really the super big benefit. For the last 10 years, we've seen all players be able to use it. Uh, you know, the cloud-based software, is, it's put a point to entry. You know, it's broken down barriers to entry for so many people. And I think with the predictive analysis that we have coming, and, and with softwares like yours, you know, it's able to do that machine learning. Well, I don't want to say anymore. I'm just excited to have you. I'll let you jump in. Okay, well, super. You know, um, I think, you know, one of the things that I uh, want to point out, and I think this will resonate with a lot of the listeners, is that most of us kind of manage our business through really kind of uh, simple, kind of software, if any, namely uh, email, as an example, where, you know, we're corresponding with, uh, with customers or vendors or business partners through email. And that email essentially becomes our database of information. And, uh, you know, it, it has certainly some value, but I think there's a, a wealth of information uh, that we're just not capitalizing if we don't go beyond just email. 
And so from that perspective, I think if we can take that data and, uh, and utilize it uh, for prospecting and managing our business, uh, we're gonna be much better off. So that's kind of the premise of you know, going beyond just ba basic email or spreadsheets and using information about uh, your business and your clients to make you much more pro proactive and much more likely to close uh, more deals, if you will, and provide better uh, customer service. And so, you know, from my perspective uh, and a Zoho perspective, really that starts with your customer relationship management tool, uh, you know, commonly referred to as the CRM. And essentially what the CRM is that database of information about your business and your customers. So once you have that database, and of course Zoho has the very popular Zoho CRM that um, is uh, a CRM that uh, you know, I would describe as very modern, very extensible. So what does that mean? Those are buzzwords, but you know, to translate that into an everyday user, it's uh, you know, fairly intuitive, easy to use, and extensible as well. So, for example, if you wanted to customize the CRM to be more reflective of your business, whether it be investing or uh, a real estate broker selling uh, and buying real estate for their clients, you can change the, the uh, layouts of the CRM pages to, you know, for example, instead of contact, call it a client, uh, you can, create modules for purchasing property, selling property, uh, maintaining pr uh, property listings. For example, we also integrate Zoho CRM with Zillow. And it's a, it's a very seamless way to bring properties from Zillow into Zoho CRM. And you can you know, attribute those properties to who you think may be interested in that property. Uh, as an example. So, um, and then finally about Zoho CRM, what I would, what I would say is that uh, beyond just extens extensibility uh, for the user themselves, there's a bunch of developers, if you will, that have created a lot of custom customized versions of the CRM for particular uh, industries. So whether that be uh, like I said earlier, investing or for real estate agents or brokers, they've taken Zoho CRM and really customized it with the workflows and the layouts that will resonate with those particular industries. Let me pause there for a minute and see if you have any questions. I, well, I'm just going to, I'll say, add a few comments for, I'll call it kind of for listeners that maybe don't understand kind of the CRM value. Uh, you would believe, you, you would not believe, let's say they're out there, but I don't know that the term CRM always resonates with our real estate investors, like as a, I'll call it as a business tool. So in my translation, I'll say that it's taking what's like, I'll say three flat data files, like you just said, the email and the spreadsheet, and maybe information from Zillow. And it's bringing it to life, if you will, or, you know, putting it into a relational database means less data entry and pulling out more value, if you will, through the reporting tools. And I, I think that they'd be um, shortchanging themselves not to get themselves into a CRM to run their business like I'll say as quickly as possible. Yeah, so that's a great point. I and mean, I should spend a couple of minutes of drilling a little bit deeper. Uh, maybe at some point we'll do a full on demo of each of the applications or at least uh, a couple of the applications. But yeah, it, it's much more than a database. And think about it in terms of uh, being a tool that mirrors your business process, your workflow on a daily basis. So in real estate, you know, you have your clients. And so your, uh, 
clients can be entered into the CRM. You can catch, you can uh, add pertinent information, obviously their contact information, but also, you know, the kinds of properties, for example, that they're interested in, uh, the time frame that they're looking to purchase or sell. Uh, and I'm getting into this kind of granularity because uh, you can actually then run reports to say, okay, what should I focus on this month? Uh, and I probably want to focus on um, clients that have told me that they're interested in purchasing a property in the next 30 days. And so I can search on that. I can bring up that list and then drill into each one of those clients and, for example, set tasks and reminders uh, about um, you know, either contacting them or maybe we're in the middle of a transaction and I need to set up a uh, escrow meeting so I can schedule those things so that I'm prompted um, to make sure that it happens and it happens on time. Again, it, it kind of lends itself to good customer service as well. Yeah, it, it, because of the relational, um, I'll say, nature of it, it's just going to make sure that, let's say, you're not dropping the ball and that one, one area of Zoho versus the other is keeping track of things for you, you know, if you set up all your parameters. And that's, I'll call it easier said than done, and it's the nice graphical interface that they can work with, you know. True, true. So, Linda, let me step back for a, a moment and kind of uh, jump onto our website here and give people a, an idea of the areas that we cover with Zoho. Because we've got uh, quite a suite of applications. In fact, I say the word suite and we do in fact have one product that uh, a company, a business, a, a user can purchase called Zoho One that gives you a combination of all our applications. And it really does have virtually any piece of software that you would need to run a business. So we, let's take, take a look at, at some of that. Uh, Zoho CRM is of course the kind of the, the flagship offering and it's, it's really the underpinnings of a lot of businesses. A lot of things fall out of the CRM. But let's think about uh, any kind of business that we can think of. Typically, not only are they um, having a CRM, and we'll talk about financial or accounting applications as well, but they need to go out and market uh, to this potential or their potential customer base. So in that regards, we have things like email campaigns. Uh, it's called Zoho Campaigns. It allows you to take information from your CRM, which is typically your contact information, and be able to create uh, very kind of slick um, marketing campaigns around that. So here's an example in the palette of creating an email uh, marketing campaign that can go out to all your contacts. Uh, directly through uh, Zoho campaigns. And of course it has a lot of the nice features like being able to tell which uh, prospect opened your email, how many times they opened that email, and it gets all that information updated back into your CRM. And as I said earlier, from there you can prioritize you know, your prospects and who you should go after based on their, their interest level. So email marketing is very, very important. As we all know, social marketing is very critical as well. And so Soho Social tightly integrates with uh, the CRM. And what that allows uh, users to do is basically manage all their social properties, if you will, their social presence, presence on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, allows uh, the, uh, the user or the business owner to be able to uh, collect information, uh, social information about people that they are tracking, namely their, their clients. 
So if it's in their, if it's in the, their CRM, uh, their social handles, all that information when they're posting and they're talking about things online will come into the CRM as well. So you get, gather that much more information on your, on your prospects. And conversely, you can, um, you can create uh, lots of uh, campaigns uh, that, that you can send out on a regular basis um, to, on your channels, your uh, Twitter, your Facebook, so that you, you're very active and you're talking about interesting information um, relevant to the, the, your area of business. And hopefully, you know, that generates interest from potential customers as well. And that all that information will reside back into your uh, back in your CRM. Let me uh, pause there again and, and see if you have any questions so far. I, no, again, that's exactly what we're saying. Like kind of a one stop shop and we haven't even gotten to all the other shops. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shops. But, exactly. But just to see the integration built right there, that that's huge value. Yeah. That. And the one thing I should have probably started with, which is, you know, fundamental to any business these days is, you know, uh, Zoho Sites, which is creating a website for your business. And, you know, this is a full on um, website builder. We, we've got themes that uh, allow you to very quickly create your website. It could even be a transactional website where you're accepting payments, you're selling product. Um, and uh, again, all this, let's say we had forms that we wanted to have uh, on our website, that information that's collected gets funneled back into the CRM as well. So we start with our website, uh, then we have our CRM that's collecting a lot of this information. Uh, I talked about uh, social integration as well. So we're covering a lot of channels of how people communicate today in a, in a modern business. Of course, email, as I started the discussion, is probably the first tool that people are using. Zoho has its own email. It's uh, all our applications are cloud-based, I should say. So it's just you know go online, sign up, and you're you're using the product. But Zoho Mail is very popular. But we also integrate with uh, applications, email applications like Outlook and Gmail. If you wanted to use those applications. Um, uh, and integrate with Zoho CRM at the same time. So let's say I'm in Outlook, I'm creating an email in Outlook, um, it's integrated with Zoho CRM, that email conversation gets logged within Zoho CRM as well. Yeah, that's like, those are super big pluses. You know, for, again, for those of you just starting to consider a transition, it, it's, just so much more powerful than we can even describe here. It's just really, really, it's going to save you so much time. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, we've seen is that while there's such huge plethora of applications that are available in the market today, it actually can be fairly daunting. Um, for not only small customers or uh, businesses, but even large companies yeah. as well. And so, you know, what we see happening and, and what we're uh, heading towards is providing these integrated suites where, you know, a customer would come to us and say, really, I'm trying to automate my sales and marketing. And we can either offer them Soho One, which is all the applications, the you know, email collaboration and so forth, as well as sales and marketing, or we could just say, oh, you just need the sales and marketing suite of applications, here it is. Because uh, of course, I think we've all heard that, you know, there's, there's one cost uh, for the software, and then there's probably a 5X to 8X cost in terms of integrating all that software. So think that there's there's some benefit to 
you know, the, the way uh, Zoho goes about it and providing all the applications that you need kind of on this pallet. And frankly, a lot of customers won't use every single application, sure. but it's there if they need it. Um, and so, you know, with that said, we talked a little bit about the front office. Um, the other uh, application I'm gonna mention in the front office that I think is very slick, I'll mention a couple more, um, <laughs> is, is Sales IQ. Sales IQ is really interesting is once you have your website together and you have your customer uh, database in Zoho CRM, you also can see when those visitors come on your website. Nice. And what they're doing, which properties they're looking at uh, as an example. And this is kind of a showing a global company, obviously, where uh, visitors are coming from all over the world, but envision it in your uh, location where people are coming on your website. I have the ability to click on any one of these visits and start a chat conversation with them as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's really, really, really great. And I for, I really totally forgot about the websites as well, the help with that. I, I dove right past that, but that's really, you know, it just makes your look seamless and a professional and it upgrades. You know, we've got a lot of investors that they go from 30 properties to 100 or 200 in, in just months. And that's just a big shift in a business. You know, it just takes it up a notch to another level. And then they're trying to get other investors on board. This just presents a, a, a very professional, you know, it keeps you well organized. How's that? For sure. For sure. And, you know, we've added some new functionality to the CRM that I think uh, is going to be really relevant for uh, investors in, uh, in property as well as uh, brokers and real estate agents where we have the ability to, to actually just bring in uh, the actual pictures of properties uh, along with the text data. And uh, we call that Zoho Canvas. And it, it gives you the ability to really create um, a record that gives you the complete details, not only from a summary text standpoint, but from a visual standpoint as well. Um, the, the last application I'll mention in the sales and marketing er area is surveys. Surveys, um, are really, really important part, I think, of marketing. Um, and some people kind of step back and say, marketing? Well, you know, usually historically surveying has been done after the fact, and hopefully it helps you moving forward. But surveying can also be important on marketing. If you're talking about uh, a questionnaire, a survey related to a certain topic, uh, and engaging with potential customers that way or clients is pretty interesting as well. As you can see, we have a palette of features here that make it easy to kind of drag and drop and create um, both web and um, mobile surveys that, again, can be emailed out uh, and that information tracked within your CRM as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Really perfect. And I, I think it's, a, it's really important, actually, I don't want to get off on surveys, but as they get into the data, it, it, it becomes that predictive analysis. And they can start to see the trends of what more people are saying, yes, I'd like to learn more about that, you know. And now yeah. all of a sudden they can kind of tailor their next offering, you know. Yeah, for sure. And then I, let me just finish on this as it relates to product, Linda, and that's, you know, the financial aspect of your business. I think a lot of businesses just fall short because they don't, frankly, manage their business from a financial perspective very well. And Zoho Books is our flagship offering in the accounting area. It's a full accounting application. Uh, but of course, with technology, what's happened with accounting applications is that it, they've become much more simple to use for the average 
business owner. Um, whereas in the past, you know, you really had to be lockstep with your accountant. They've any, any kind of report that you needed had to be customized through them. A lot of that debit and credit kinds of, uh, activities, um, have, has been programmed into the software. So now you really get a, uh, a good overview of your business uh, real time. And I can create cash flow reports, I can create P&Ls, and it makes it much easier to, when you do need to hand over your information to your accountant, uh, they can come online and look at it within the accounting application or you can send it to them very, very easily. So that kind of rounds out a kind of a suite of applications that may make sense for any business, certainly in the, in the property real estate business uh, can make sense as well. Hey, absolutely. This is enough to, I'll say, get them to see all that they could be doing from, because there's so much marketing. There's, of course, the financials. And then, as you said, there's even more that, you know, you even offer more solutions. Yeah. In, in addition to the fact that I think what you said early on about there's people out there, um, sometimes, uh, like I'll say a layer on top of you that are, call it the experts, that are going to make this custom and use Zoho on the back end to make them a custom application if they're at that, I'll call it, stage and want to spend that kind of investment. But otherwise, I think your team, does more than adequate to get them started, you know? Yeah, and so speaking of getting started, I mean, we covered a lot of ground, obviously, in just this short amount of time, and it, it could be kind of daunting. And so one of the things that we've introduced uh, to help in that regard is that, in particular with our Zoho One Suite, which, by the way, also has a very kind of revolutionary kind of pricing model, which is basically all the software that we talked about and everything else is $30 a month. And so if you start adding up your email, your website, your CRM, um, you go well beyond that yeah. in terms of price. But to go even further, what I would recommend um, is for people to look at Zoho One as a potential option for their business. And um, within that program, you can see here, we have a get started with, uh, con with a concierge, which basically allows you to schedule a call with a concierge wh who will try to understand your business um, walk through the key processes for you. How would you like your software to support your business? And then kind of recommend how you go about setting up the software to, to uh, facilitate the business that you have. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, I think that the, anybody I've ever spoken to that chooses the software, they said that call was, you know, kind of the, one of the most enlightening, if you will to kind of get a feel for they don't realize all that can be put into one spot. And I think that, you know, I was just with somebody the other day at a startup company. I'm outside the Chicago area and they have like a productivity software that measures productivity of all your team players. How long are they taking per task? When you introduce a software like Soho to the mix, you're like absolutely improving productivity right out of the gate because now we're not going to, let's say, five different softwares and five different passwords. And you know what I mean? It, it just, it just right away, it has a return on investment, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I, I can't thank you enough. I think what you're saying is this is the best spot for them to, let's say, follow up. And we'll put this in the show notes as well, uh, you know, right underneath. We post everything in YouTube. It will be out there like probably within 24 hours. We'll let you know. And we, we really, really appreciate this quick tour. Like you said, we might be back. <laughs> um, um, I know we'll be back because you're always introducing new features that just keep making it more and more robust. So we thank you for that, for listening to your clients, obviously, and adding in the things that they need. And, we, I, I can't wait to see what's coming for the next five years. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great. Right. Thanks uh, for having me on, Linda, and I look forward to uh, 
the next session. Okay, thank you so much, Raj, and you have a great day, and all the best to Zoho and continued success. Thank you very much. All bye -bye. right, bye-bye.